I really, really like how this gun turned out. Ah, I really like this gun. This thing turned out, man. Pa pow, pa pow. Oh, that's a great gun. Man, I laugh how this thing turned out. Hey everybody, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and today we're gonna to talk about my new rifle. Uh, so, this rifle uh, comes to you, it's a Franken gun, okay, so it was thrown together with some couple different things, and uh, mostly an accident how it ended up being, but I just wanted to present it to you with for commentary and thoughts. I guess, I don't know, it's my gun, I can do what I want. So the lower is the first lower that I ever assembled. Um, and by me, I mean uh, my buddy assembled it for me, right? So I bought the lower, bought the parts kit, uh, and ended up putting it together. And this sat uh, with a BCM upper for quite a while, quite a few years, and then I eventually just bought a BCM lower and put the BCM lower on the BCM upper so I can have a complete BCM gun and be all cool and fancy, right? So I had this leftover lower laying around and decided to do something with it. So first thing is uh, this does have a ACT trigger in here, which I really like. Those are nice. I ended up putting an ambi safety on there. I have this single point attachment thing back here for single point slings, but obviously this gun ends up having a two point sling, but I just left it there because I don't, I don't want to mess with it. So that's that. When I got the upper, it was a PSA upper, okay? It's 20 inch PSA upper. And I got that because one, it was available, and two, I thought, I don't know, why not? I've never really had a carbine or a rifle length gas system. I've never used a 20 inch gun before, so let's see. Um, so about that, this is a Magpul, uh, their MOE stock system. Of course, I put that up here. This is a Streamlight. I'll tell you what, I've had four out of four Streamlight rifles fail on me. So this is number five. <laughs> so we're gonna see, uh, and there's two reasons I'm trying it again. One, because one of my buddies pointed out that the streamlights are dual fuel, so I have an 18650 battery in here, and hopefully that'll keep a better connection. And two, usually I mount my lights like right up here next to the muzzle, because uh, I hate barrel shadow, I just, I don't like it. So I usually mount my lights really up close, and a light should be able to be mounted right next to the barrel, in case you're thinking it shouldn't be. But this one, of course, is gonna end up being further back because that's that's where the rail system ends. So I think between the battery and being mounted further back, we'll see, we'll see if Streamlight can uh, redeem themselves, maybe just a little bit. That would be nice. Uh, just normal A2 birdcage up there. That's it, just a standard 20 inch upper. I, the, the bolt carry group is from Palmetto as well. I did remove the charging handle and I went with a v, v, Veltor, I don't even know how to pronounce that, V-L-T-O-R charging handle for that sucker because that mil spec charging handle from PSA is garbage, okay? Hot garbage. Hated that thing. Uh, BCM buffer uh, and a, a, a BCM buffer spring and then an H buffer, also from BCM in there. So that's it. I was originally gonna get this gun. It was just gonna be my iron sight only rifle. However, um, a couple things on that. One, I ended up being able to find one with the, I wanted an A2 front sight because it was gonna be a rifles only thing. And then I ended up being able to find one with this rear charging handle, or rear charging handle, rear carry handle sight. And I thought, oh great, you know, whatever. Works great, don't have to buy a rear sight. Turns out though, this thing points extremely naturally. And I think it has a lot to do with the fact that the sights are level rather than having your rear sight a little bit lower than your upper sight. But this thing just points. So I couldn't believe how naturally this thing pointed. So I've been a big fan of the irons on this gun. A big fan. And I might leave it that way, I probably won't. I'll talk about that why in a minute. But I've been a big fan of just how naturally this thing points and I just pull it up and it's just there. I mean, it's it's just there. So, big fan of the irons only on this gun. Um, and that, that was it. I was gonna just gonna kinda be done with the gun from there. Oh, and then I painted it. I did a video on that, you can watch that. But I painted it cause it looks cool, you know? And uh, black guns stick out more. So, I try to paint. And now it's kinda getting a battle worn finish, which it's always cool. Anyway, um, so. I did today buy a Primary Arms uh, 3X sight that I'm gonna put on here. Um, and I'll take this off and I'll, I'll mount the, the optic on there. 
And the reason I decided to do that was it's gonna greatly expand the capabilities of the gun, right? That's why optics do, that's why we put optics on guns. Are optics needed, are they necessary? No, uh, but they're really nice. <laughs> and they're the first upgrade I would tell you to get. A light is mandatory, a sling is mandatory, okay? Th this is as bare bones mandatory as a, as a rifle gets. Um, but an optic is just really nice to have. And since I have a 20 inch barrel on there, and it's gonna be able to really carry velocity at distance, I'd like to be able to uh, better unlock the capabilities of the gun by putting a magnified optic on there. So that's coming, that'll be here in a couple months, and I'll probably end up, again, putting that on there and seeing how it rides. Until then, it's gonna be an irons only gun, and I love this gun as irons only. I mean, it just, God, man, it points so naturally. So another thing about this gun is that uh, if you come take a class with me in the next, I don't know, a couple of years or whatever, uh, and you wanna shoot this thing, you can shoot it, okay? I'll gladly let you shoot it. It needs to get some rounds through it anyway to verify its reliability. Not that I'm too worried about it, but. Uh, so, if you'd like to come take a class and shoot this sucker, I'll have it. Just let me know. Say, hey Dylan, can I get that cool 20 inch green painted gun you got? I'd love to shoot that sucker. And uh, you can put as many rounds through it as you want. That's it, that's my rifle. That's my latest build here, and uh, I'm excited to use it, excited to use it more, excited to shoot it more. Maybe I'll eventually swap out the muzzle device to a BCM one, just because I'll have a couple of those lying around once I buy suppressors and stuff. I hope you like talking about guns. I hope you like gear. Until then, do brave deeds and endure.